Hi everyone and welcome to another Aegis Business Services tutorial video. Let's jump right in and process a refund for a customer in Mail. Now because you can't use a customer's card for all electronic payments, we will firstly need to create a clearing account and then create a supplier card for the customer. The first thing we're going to do is create the clearing account. We'll do this by going to the accounts list, selecting new, and the asset account we will create will be a bank account. The number we will use will be 1-1800 and for the name of the account we will use customer refund clearing account. On the details tab we will select the tax code and ensure that it's set to not reportable. Once we've done that We'll go and select the customer details that will be required to set up the supplier card. We'll go to our sales tab, then our sales register, and then returns and credits. The customer we would like to refund today is My Town Realty for $175.50. So what we will do is we will go to the card file, select cards list, select supplier and then select new. We will leave the supplier as a company and the company that we wish to refund is My Town Realty. We can then go straight across to the payment details and enter the BSB number and account number. BSB account number. We'll put in the bank account name and the text and we'll set it to already be printed and sent. We can now save this. And we can now process our refund. But what we will do is we will go back to our sales register information, our returns and credits page, and select My Town Realty. We will then select the pay refund option which brings the Settle Returns and Credits window. For the account, this is the one we will use which we just set up the Customer Refund Clearing Account. Ensure that all the other details are correct and then we can hit Record. It's now been removed from the Returns and Credits screen so we can close out of that. If we go to our accounts list and we find the account we've just created, we'll see that there's now $175.50 sitting balance for that account. Now that the refund is sitting in the asset account, we need to record a spend money transaction to transfer it to the electronic clearing account, ready to be paid to the customer. So from here, we will go to banking and select spend money. The first thing we will do is ensure that it is being paid from the electronic payment account. We select the customer card, which was My Town Realty, ensuring that we select the supplier card. We enter the amount, which was $175.50. The account it's to be paid from is the previously created 11800 customer refund clearing account. All the other details are correct, so we can record. 
and we can then confirm it's sitting in our payments ready for our next batch payment. We can also confirm the rest of the transaction by going back to our accounts list, scrolling down and finding our clearing account and seeing that it's now back to zero. Thank you for watching and if you have any suggestions for further videos, please let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like if you found this helpful and subscribe to be notified of new content.